फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन वी लीव इन अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ कंफ्लिक्स एंड येट द वर्ल्ड गोज ऑन अनडाउटेडली बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉपरेशन ऑफ नेशंस एंड ऑपरेशन एंड देयर इज टूडे अ वास्ट अमाउंट ऑफ कॉपरेशन इवन बिटवीन कंट्रीज विच आर अपोज टू ईच अदर इन द पॉलिटिकल और अदर फील्ड्स लिटल इज नॉन और सैड अबाउट दिस कॉपरेशन दैट इज गोइंग ऑन बट अ ग्रेट डील इज सैड अबाउट एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ कंफ्लिक्ट एंड देअ फोर द वर्ल्ड इज फुल ऑफ द आइडिया दैट वी लिव ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ डिजास्टर इट वुड पर हैप्स बी अ ट्रिय पिक्चर इफ द कॉपरेटिंग एलिमेंट्स इन द वर्ल्ड वर पुट फॉरवर्ड एंड वी वर मेड टू थिंक दैट द वर्ल्ड डिपेंडेड ऑन कॉपरेशन एंड नॉट ऑन कंफ्लिक्ट अ प्रपोजल हैज बीन मेड बाई मैनी पर्सनस टू द अफेक्ट दैट मोर अटेंशन शुड बी डायरेक्टेड टू द कॉपरेटिव वेंचर्स एस्पेशली फॉर पीस एंड इन द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ पीस सो दैट मोर पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग मे टेक प्लेस on this subject and people may realize that this cooperation is already taking place and can be extended some years ago it was resolved to have an international geophysical year that was a specific subject however it has been suggested that perhaps this assembly might resolve to call upon all countries of the world to devote a year to the furtherance of cooperative activities in political cultural and the many other fields not to mere speeches about peace that perhaps will direct some of our energy and some of our thinking to this idea of cooperating which will create an atmosphere helpful for solving the problems more easily that by itself will not solve any problem but it will lessen this distrust and conflict which affect the world i make this suggestion to you not in any detail but broadly so that this assembly might consider it and if it is worth while perhaps appoint a committee to consider it further and make suggestions as to how this might perhaps be done the great men of the world have been those who have fought hatred and violence and not those who have encouraged it we have arrived at the stage when even in some worthwhile cause hatred and violence have to be checked this requires a new way of thinking a new development of humanity possibly we are going through that process and this very crisis will wake up the mind of man and direct it to this new way of thinking what shall it profit the world if it conquers the material ills and then commits suicide because it has not controlled its own mind